How will you manage the burn wound? The burn wound management depends on the degree of burn. First degree burn or epidermal burns. No dressing and topical antibiotics are required. This heals in three to seven days time. Second degree burn, superficial dermal burns usually heals by epithelialization by two to three weeks. The wound needs to be dressed with topical antibiotics to prevent infection and layered padded dressing applied, paraffin gauze, and a thick layer of gauze. The burns in the face and neck are usually treated by exposure method with application of topical antibiotics and keeping the area open. Deep dermal burns, third-degree burns, and fourth-degree burns does not heal by epithelialization and may heal by granulation with gross scaring. There are two options for surgical treatment of deep burns. Delayed operation. The burn wound is dressed and time is allowed for spontaneous separation of the slow and once the wound starts granulating the area is covered with split skin grafting. The advantage is avoidance of early operation but the disadvantage is there is scaring following skin grafting of the granulating wound. Early operation. Surgical management of the burn wound has now become more aggressive. Following resuscitation of burn wound operative debridement is planned early. Tangential excision of the burn wound is done till a bleeding dermal bed or subcutaneous tissue is reached and the area covered with split skin graft. The skin graft may be meshed to cover a larger area of the defect. The healing process may be expedited by this method. In deep burns with exposed structures like bones, nerves, tendon and vessels after debridement needs to be covered with skin flaps rather than split skin grafts. If patient's own skin is not available for grafting what may be done, cadaver skin has been used for definitive cover. Autologous culture of epithelium has been used with some success. Others like amion graft, collagen dressings has been used.